Hello everybody! Speaking is Roberto del Prede from the University of Naples Federico II, and this presentation entitles Deep Learning for Effective Maritime Domain Awareness. To counter large threats at sea, satellite technologies are a key solution, providing wide areas mapping at fixed time intervals. Among multi- and hyperspectral sensors, Synthetic Aperture Radar is a top choice for its all weather and all time capabilities. Usually, ships are identified by their backscattered energy, which appear in a SAR image like a cluster of white pixels. This methodology is called SAR ship detection. However, it's not the only one possible. Moving ships leave behind long trails, which faster extend for kilometers. Ship wakes can be used as a marker of a ship presence and for route estimation purposes. Even when ships are not imaged, due to the coherent focusing mechanism of SAR. This methodology is called SAR ship wake detection and it is tra traditionally challenged with domain transform such as Radon or Hue. However, these methods are time consuming and computationally intensive. Most importantly, assume wakes as a linear feature and require a priori knowledge of ship location. In contrast to this, we propose a deep learning methodology Deep learning for remote sensing has achieved a great success in many tasks. In the framework of automatic target recognition, the architecture used is the object detector, which takes in input images. Images are passed into the backbone, namely a convolutional neural network able to extract low, mid and high level features. Feature maps thus obtained serve to localize instances. Based on the region proposal step, we can have one-stage detectors such as SSD, YOLO, and RetinaNet, or two-stage detectors like Faster RCNN, Mask RCNN, or Cascade Mask RCNN. In this work, the dataset used was manually constructed from interferometric wide swath Sentinel 1 images. Products correspond to the level 1 grand range detected, with a pixel spacing of 10 meters by 10 meters and are all gathered in vertical polarization to enhance the wake visibility. The more or 250 wake ships recollected cover highly congested maritime sites and are chosen to maximize ship's diversity, so to include different ship classes, speed and orientation. Data labeling followed the Microsoft Coco format. The polygonal annotation purposely excludes ships to remove their influence on the detection. It is worth noting that this dataset does not contain example of Calvin wakes, and therefore these latter are not detectable. For training our models, we used a transfer learning technique. So fine-tuning Coco pre-trained weights on our dataset. Class imbalance problem were not faced, but the problem is still difficult to solve due to, co to coherent speckle noise always present. The training includes a data augmentation strategy and a hook function for early stopping the models and avoid overfitting. We used 5000 epochs with a small learning rate of 0.001 and a stochastic gradient descent optimizer. Anchor sizes have been raised since the wakes cover a large portion of the images. Model baselines include Faster RCNN, RetinaNet, Mask RCNN and Cascade Mask RCNN. Testing the models on our dataset, it is clear that models with FPN and with deeper networks score on average better. Cascade Mask RCNN showed the best results in terms of mean average precision. Finally, we show some weasel results achieved by Cascade Mask RCNN in a quiet sea condition, in a low signal to clutter radio condition, and in the end into a complex background condition. Concluding this presentation, it is important to point out some limitation of this methodology. Object detectors do not take full advantage of SAR data. Besides, we do not require 100 or more layers, since the number of features is limited. Given this consideration, in future we will work on creating a convolutional neural network specific for synthetic aperture reader. We are going to test and implement different solutions, and most importantly, acquire reliable ground truth data for massive testing.